Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Uh, I forgot you didn't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. A anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So, you're very thoughtful, Husky. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then br and briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> but I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sari, uh, ah, uh, hi, 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 Husky, Sayori. Just now, we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Husky. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I already, I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, uh, really? That's too bad. I'm, I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Sayori beams. Yeah, yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Oh boy. Sayori waves goodbye to her after all. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ha <laughs> ha, well... I tried staying in my room... But my imagination was really... Was being really mean to me. So I had to come over and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? Y you know. How much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down to Yuri's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Husky? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh no, it hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Whoa. Say I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. Don't say that. It's true, Husky. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel pain anymore. B but... Sierra looks away. I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. Uh, I'm scared, Husky. I'm, I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Husky, I like you so much that I want to die. Whoa. That's how I feel. And, and, that, that, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if I don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. That's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori? I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Um, I'm doing this though. I'm saying I love you. I'm doing it. 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 We're doing it. She is too adorable and too precious. Sayori, I love you.
Uh, those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner, but spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as you continue like this every day, with, with you by my side, then I know we'll be ha both happy. Husky. Suddenly, Sari wraps her arms tightly around me. Oh. Husky. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sari in my arms and pull her close. You'll never, you'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Husky. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sari's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why... Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Husky. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, oh, okay. I, I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So... I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date. Huh. Huh, <laughs> huh. What are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we are... Even if we really are a couple... I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I I understand. I understand. We'll go whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Husky. Sari gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Sari means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sari? I... I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that. But in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to a Sayori. I know that I love her. And she loves me. I'm having as much trouble understanding Sari's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know those thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sari meant by not wanting anything to change? I, I don't know. But I know that I'll give er everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to make a happy future with her. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this just got fucking heavy. Save, save, save. Jesus Christ, save. Save, save, save. <sighs> It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the events should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Oh no. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Husky, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. <laughs> That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little bookers on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that will have uh, the poems that we're uh, performing. 
In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. Uh, so that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think on days th uh, this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone and woke her up after all. Ha ha ha. You should take a little responsibility for her, Husky. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Suri really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a, we're a couple now? I don't even plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh... Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Yeah! Hey... Do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets, laid on the desks. Oh yeah, they look really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it its own professional feel. I recognize Nasuki's and Yuri's poems for the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different than the one that she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. That's not good. That's, 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 that's not good. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Husky? What's wrong? Uh, a lot of things. The poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, uh, I, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm going to go get Sayori. So, ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself, Monica calls out that after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the sinful gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer. She's not picking up the phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and I let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case. It just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to enter a room like this. Isn't it a kind of a...
What the fuck? What the fuck? This is a nightmare. It has to be. This isn't real. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sarah wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what, what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. I mean, I'm pretty fucking close myself. Just yesterday, I told Sarah I would be there for her. I told her that that's what's best, and everything would be okay. Then why? Why, why would... Why? 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 I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sierra needed at all. She even told me how painful it was for others to care about her. And why did I confess to her? And make her feel even worse. Why was I so selfish? This, th this is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and reminded friends, with, and remained friends with her like it always had been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I, I just, I just, I lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Oh, nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But still, couldn't do... I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now? I can never take it back. Never. 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 What? Oh, 